Hello, my name is Stephen Bassey. I'm one of the software engineers here at Boson, and in this video I'm going to walk you through Standalone Lab 17 Backup using TFTP. If you haven't already, I recommend that you load this lab by double-clicking on the lab title in the tree menu, and then follow along in the lab document. As you can see, I've already loaded the lab, and I'll begin by moving the lab document to an external viewer just so I can move it off screen and give us some more space to focus on the command console and the network topology. I'm also going to move the lab tree out of the way and at the moment I'm going to minimize the console so we can get a good look at the lab topology. So let's start by covering the objective of this lab. In this lab we want to use the trivial file transfer protocol in order to save and load file configurations, router configurations in this case. Um, we're going to use router 4 and we're going to use PC1 in this lab. We're going to want to save our router 4 configurations to PC1 using TFTP and then we're going to want to load the saved configurations from PC1 back onto router 4. So if you're following along in your lab document the first thing you'll notice is that we have a command summary listed. I recommend that you review the command summary and below the command summary you'll see there's a table of IP addresses. Uh, you can use the IP address table as a reference during the lab um, if you need to look back and see what interfaces need to be configured with which um, IP addresses. So let's go ahead and begin with lab task 1, configuring the router. In this task, simply configuring the host name and the IP address for fast ethernet 00 on router 4. So I'm going to minimize the net map here and I'm going to navigate to router 4 console and press enter to begin so the first thing I want to do is configure the host name for router 4 so type enable configure terminal and host name router 4 step 2 of task 1 requires us to configure the IP address of interface fast ethernet 00 so I'm going to enter interface configuration mode and configure the listed IP address for fast ethernet 00 in this case the IP address we're going to use is 24.37.2.1 with subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and since by default this interface is shut down, we're going to execute the no shutdown command to bring this interface up. After we've done this, we can return back to privilege mode by typing end. Step 3 requires us to configure the IP address and default gateway on PC1. So I'm going to open the console for PC1. Type enter. And I'm going to use the command ipconfig slash ip. 24.37.2.252 subnet mass 255.255.255.0 This is a standard Windows notation for configuring an IP address. I'm also going to configure the default gateway. So ipconfig slash dg 24.37.2.1 Now we're using 24.37.2.1 we're configuring router 4 as the default gateway for PC1. And we want to verify that there's connectivity between PC1 and router 4. So I'm going to try to execute a ping from PC1 to router 4. So I'm pinging the fast ethernet 00 interface on router 4. And as you can see the ping was successful. So we do have connectivity between PC1 and router 4. Now that we've established connectivity between PC1 and router 4, task 2 asks us to save a configuration to our TFTP server. In this case, PC1 is our TFTP server. So let's navigate back to router 4's console. And we're going to use this command to copy our running configuration to PC1, which is our TFTP server. The command is copy running config tftp Now when you enter this command uh, you're going to be prompted to enter the IP address or name of the remote host. 
In this case, we'll enter the IP address of PC1, 24.37.2.252. The next prompt will ask us to specify the file name that we want to save. The default file name is temp.rtr. We're going to use router4 underscore config. And when you see the exclamation marks there, you'll know that the configuration was successfully saved to the TFTP server. So in step three of task two, we want to verify that the configuration was actually saved on PC1. Let's navigate back to PC1's console, and we'll use the command show TFTP configs. And you can see that listed is router 4 config. So we know that our router configuration was successfully saved on PC1. Moving on to task 3, we want to load a configuration from a TFTP server back to our router. So to accomplish this, we will want to first change our router configuration so that we can verify that the loading process has worked correctly. So let's move back to router 4 in our console. And let's make a simple change to the running configuration. We'll change the host name to bad router. So let's enter global configuration mode. Change the host name. And then we can return back to privilege mode. Step two of task three asks us to load a configuration from our TFTP server into our router. To do so, we're going to use the copy TFTP running config command. So this is specifying that we should copy a configuration from our TFTP server into our running configuration. When you hit enter, you'll be prompted to enter the IP address of the TFTP server. So in this case, we'll use 24.37.2.252. It will also be requested to enter the name of the file, the source file name. The source file name that we saved previously was router4config, so we'll type that again. And when we hit enter, it will begin loading the configuration from the TFTP server to our router. And as you can see, our host name has reverted to router4. So because the host name has been successfully restored, that can act as verification that the configuration from our TFTP server has been successfully loaded into our router. So that completes standalone lab 17 backup using TFTP. I hope you enjoyed following along and we'll see you next time.